I just remembered yesterday that when I was in junior high school, for our PE class options, like physical education, you had three choices of what you could take. You could choose one of the three uh, options. And one of them was tumbling, not gymnastics, tumbling. The other one was square dancing. And the third one was <laughs> disco dancing. <laughs> like you could take, at my junior high school, you could choose to take disco dancing. <laughs> That's how old I am. It was the late seventies. And you could take disco dancing as your physical education course. And it, it, was, it was kind of shocking to all of us because we thought it was so hip and cool. like. Wow, the school board decided that we need disco dancing. That's amazing. And the all the cool kids, of course, took took the disco dancing class, which means, of course, I took square dancing because it was really uncoordinated. I knew I couldn't couldn't do that stuff. But um, the funny part was that they worked on it. There were several disco dancing classes, I believe, if I'm remembering this correctly. All the cool kids working on their skills. And a few months later, we had a homecoming dance. <laughs> And all the cool kids went with like dates and corsages, which means, of course, I went stag with my nerdy friends, <laughs> and the, the square dancers. <laughs> and it was a public school, so people, there was no band or anything. They were just playing records on loudspeakers. And somebody put on the record for The Hustle. <laughs> And all of a sudden, completely unplanned, with no forethought whatsoever, all the disco dancing students proceeded to the dance floor and they got in these perfect symmetrical lines and they started doing the hustle, like the actual hustle, with like all the complicated moves and like, like spins and like clap, synchronized clapping. And it was amazing. <laughs> they were so good that it became like this really transcendent experience for all of us because we were watching this incredible thing it was like a broadway show it was like it's like a disco flash mob far ahead of its time and we had this incredible homecoming dance experience the dance was being led by my friend steve sorrow who was wearing like he was a disco dancing student avid disco dancing student and he had a suit on it's like a john travolta suit except for it wasn't white it was kind of taupe and it had like an actual vest that was buttoned up and he had these long lapels and like a flare leg pant and he was getting it out there on that dance floor doing the hustle and it went you know went through the whole song and those of us who were watching were just blown away we were like wow their disco dancing skills are astonishing <laughs> and so i just want to thank the georgia public school system for really educating young junior high schoolers in the art of disco in the late 70s. It really paid off.